Hey everyone, Chris here with a quick combined news update, including two interesting interviews and some big sales news for a game that isn't even out yet. Let's start with the first one, which is that Bravely Default 2's producer Masashi Takahashi recently spoke with Dengeki Online about the development of the game, which is launching on Switch next week. Here are some of the highlights from Nintendo Everything's translation. He was asked if Bravely Default 2 was always slated to be a Switch title, to which he responded, We learned a lot developing Octopath Traveler, and when thinking about what consoles Bravely Default fans likely own, Switch seemed like the best choice. He was also asked whether the Switch being more powerful than the 3DS helped development. To this he responded, We were able to make great strides in everything, from the graphics to the music and characters, to make it feel like a true sequel. Even with all the improvements though, we felt it was important to make sure it still resembled the previous titles in some way. He then provided an example, which is that if you look at the towns in the game, previously they wanted to create the feeling that players were walking on a painting in a 3D stereoscopic view. In this title, to keep that same feeling, they decided to create the town as if it were papercraft. They also aimed for something akin to a model train rather than more realistic when they were designing the fields, to keep the series' atmosphere intact. Lastly, he touched on one thing that was more difficult about making the game for the Switch rather than the 3DS, which is that with the 3DS they had two screens to work with. He says, this time around we had to completely remake the UI from scratch. It took a long time to figure out how to fit all the features on a single screen while not having things look cramped or overly complex. So remember that Bravely Default 2 will launch on Switch February 26th, and you can go check out the demo right now. But before jumping over to our next interview, some quick sales news about Skyward Sword HD, which is that it has already appeared on the bestsellers chart on Amazon as pre-orders have sold out. As of the time of recording this, it is listed as temporarily out of stock on Amazon's US and UK stores. Now, of course, that might change. Hopefully it does. But it just goes to show the hype surrounding this game, and it's probably a pretty good indicator that this game is going to sell pretty well. Our last story is that Roger Craig Smith has talked a bit more about his departure from the role of Sonic the Hedgehog, confirming that it was in fact his decision to leave the role. This news came out as part of an interview with Voices from Krypton, where Roger Craig Smith said the following. I think my response would be, it's just one of those things. It's a time in looking at the way things are being handled and the way that you are, where you're at, and what you kind of want to deal with and do. And I found myself going, I think it's time. I think it's time to be done. He added that he knows people are sort of shocked and surprised by it, and he's seen lots of speculation saying things like, voice actors don't walk away, he was fired. To this he said, it's interesting the perception that people have, and we get this all the time. Like, it's amazing how all the experts that are out there that have nothing to do with this industry that make all of these assumptions, you know. This is how it works, and this is what this does. You know, after a while you do things and start going, I think I'm very pleased, and I'm very proud, and I'm very happy with what has happened there. And I think it's time to say, I don't want to keep doing this. Lastly, he basically said that some people might ask why, but it makes perfectly good sense to him, and it was the right thing to do, and he's happy to have done it. Once again, these highlights come from Nintendo Everything, and you can check out their quotes as well as the full interview down below. Roger Craig Smith has been voicing Sonic for a long time, and it's clear that the actor just wanted to spend more time on other projects. But it's good to hear that this decision was fully his own. So there you have it, three quick news updates. Thanks guys for watching, and subscribe to Game Explain for all things gaming. Check out the videos on the right for more content you might be interested in, and until next time, bye!